In the last three days, efforts made to secure an interview with at least one member of the criminal gang commonly called junkies have been futile. But we had a near catastrophic encounter with them as we were filming in Matero today in what appeared to be a clash of the titans between two gangster groups. The fracas stopped almost as quickly as it had begun. Just this morning I'm told that some gang of criminals tried to break into the house behind me. We tried to speak to the victims but they're too scared to speak to us. But according to the witnesses, these junkies wanted to attack. Now, since November last year, over 500 junkies have been rounded up by police. But what has happened here? These junkies around here in Matero, they are involving too much violence. After further consultation, we managed to secure an interview with a 21-year-old who says he was a junkie for years before enrolling in a rehabilitation program. I asked him why he joined the gangs in the first place. I had issues at home whereby you wrote your grade 7 exams and then no money to take you back to school. Patrick Salubusa, the Kapwepe Ward 25 councillor, has taken a proactive approach to the junkie challenge in his area. We also have one creative way of responding to the junkies. We've set up the Combo and Talent Hub. Uh, it's the young people came together. Um, I'm helping them as the area councillor. At the same time, as an arts administrator myself, we've realised that uh, the, one of the reasons why we have got so many junkies is because the young people are frustrated, they've given up. So if one is talented in terms of music, drama, comedy, modelling, any artistic um, uh, gift, they want to uh, take it to another level. Psychology Association of Zambia PAS Secretary General Darlington Wendabai believes the problem of junkies must be addressed at the root cause. So the starting point for us is to get back to the basics, which is the family, and then look at the environment. Because for them to get whatever you know, are things that they are using, if it's drugs and even fights, they are created in an environment. So let's check also our environment and strengthen them. Police raids have continued. But the presence of junkies is still being felt. It is not over by a long shot. Penlop Sikazwe, ZNBC News, Lusaka.